Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Daddy Views back with another video and today we're talking about probably one of the most underrated features of the iPhone and that's automations. You can actually do a lot with automations on your iPhone. It allows you to do a lot of things easier, of course, automated so you don't have to worry about doing certain stuff that you probably do on daily basis manually while you can actually do them easily with automations so in this video i will show you guys 10 really cool automations that i think are pretty useful and probably you will find yourself using some of these on daily basis on your iphone now here's the first one this is pretty cool tap on new automation right here and you will have here alarm so go to alarm and you can choose here a few different options but i choose goes off right there and then of course choose here run immediately now tap next and you will have here the ability to actually play music on your iPhone when the alarm goes off. This is pretty cool. So you will have here some presets where you also have play music. But if you don't have it here, you can just go ahead and search for it right there. You can also have something like maybe have the weather forecast for your city, of course, in the morning when your alarm goes off but we're going with play music we can go right here and then tap on music and here we can choose the music we can go to the library we will have here of course everything the albums the playlists i can go to playlist choose any of the songs from that playlist add them here and it will start playing that song once the alarm goes off in the morning Next up, we have an automation for CarPlay. Now, whenever I connect my iPhone to my car through CarPlay, I will always open Spotify. Well, I can have that automated so I don't have to do that manually. Tap on new automation and right here, go ahead and find CarPlay. So here it is CarPlay, tap on run immediately, tap on the next button right there and then go ahead and tap on open app. Again, if you don't see it here, search for it on the search bar, open app, go ahead and find the app. So let's search for Spotify. Then we have Spotify, tap on the dumb button. And just like that, we have now created an automation which will open any app we want the minute we connect our iPhone to CarPlay. Now here's another one which is pretty cool. Tap on new automation and then go ahead and find here the charger. So then we have the charger. So we have is connected and then is disconnected. Now you can choose what you want to use here. Now whether you want to do this when it's connected, disconnected or both. Now what I'm talking about here is speaking the battery level. Of course choose here run immediately. Tap on next and then go ahead and search for get battery. So there we have get battery status. And then go ahead and search here for speak text. There we have speak text. So you can see it gets the battery level and then it will speak the battery state. Tap on the dumb button. And now you have created this automation that will tell you the battery percentage anytime you connect or disconnect a charger from your iPhone. Now we're talking here again about the battery. We have a pretty simple automation here, but I think it's pretty cool and very useful. Tap on new automation and go ahead and find the battery level here. Now you can choose here any percentage you want. You go with equals and then go ahead and choose the percentage that you want. Let's say 30% and then tap on next here. Tap on new blank automation, add action. And right here, go, go ahead and search for vibration. So there we have vibrate device and it's as simple as that. You tap the dumb button and anytime your iPhone's battery equals 30%, it will vibrate your device so you know it's time to charge your iPhone. Now here's one that is very specific and I think it's actually very, very useful. So you probably use a ton of apps on your iPhone. There are apps that when you open, you will probably want to turn the volume all the way down or maybe all the way up or just have it at a certain level you want. So go ahead and tap on new automation here, then search for app and tap of course on run immediately. Always do this. Tap on choose the app right there. Let's go ahead and choose an app here. Let's just go with calculator. Tap on the dumb button, tap next. And then right here, tap on new blank automation, add action and search for set volume. And then we have set volume and now you can choose the volume right here. 
Now the volume will be at 50%. You can tap there and choose any amount of volume you want. You will have here media. You can choose ringtone if you want to. Tap on the dumb button. Now you're good to go. Anytime I open now the calculator app, the volume of my device will drop at 0%. Next up, we're moving to the Bluetooth automations. This one is pretty useful as well. Now, if you don't have CarPlay, I show you guys how to do this with CarPlay. But let's say you just have Bluetooth on your car. You can actually do the same here. Go with Bluetooth and then you have here is connected. Of course, always choose run immediately. Choose a device here. So what you want to do here is choose the device from your car. So it will be the name of your car right here. Choose that and then tap on next and go ahead and tap on open app choose the app in this case i use spotify so i will have spotify opened whenever my iphone connects to that bluetooth device in this case my car every time i get get on my car turn it on it connects to bluetooth i will have my music app already opened automatically now when it comes the apps, the orientation lock is a pretty cool feature. I see a ton of people like to keep the orientation lock on all the time. Well, when you keep the orientation lock on all the time, you go on apps like YouTube, for example, you're trying to watch a video on the landscape mode, you will have to actually manually turn off your orientation lock, but not anymore. You go to automations here, go on app, and then tap again run immediately choose the app here so i can choose youtube so whenever i go to youtube what i will do here is turn off orientation lock so there we have set orientation lock if you don't see it there search it again on the search bar so toggle we just go ahead and tap on turn and then tap right there and just actually change that to off tap on done and i'm good to go now every time i open the youtube app the orientation lock automatically switches off as you probably know on ios you will have different focus modes and you will have different wallpapers for each focus mode so when you go to work you have your work focus if you have it turned on based on location it will actually change to that wallpaper but if you don't use the focus modes you can still change to any wallpaper you want based on location or maybe even time of the day so you tap the plus button and uh, let's go here with location so when i arrive choose the location here you'll choose any location you want of course you can do your current location by just turning on your location services again run immediately tap on the next button and then here search for wallpaper So there we have switch between wallpapers. You tap right there, it says switch to wallpaper. You tap here and you choose the wallpaper you wanna use at that location. You tap the dumb button. Now you have created this automation that automatically switches to your favorite wallpaper whenever you're at a certain location or at any time of the day that you choose. Now as you probably know, iOS has a feature when if you have turned on low power mode on your device, when it reaches a certain level, when it charges at 80%, it automatically turns off low power mode. Now the trick here is that 80% is quite a lot and you might have low power mode on, you charge your device, let's say at 50, 60%, you might forget that you have it turned on and still keep it that way, even though your device is probably charged enough. Well, you can create an automation here. Just go to battery level and then choose equals, choose the battery percentage you want to use. In this case, I want to use 60%. Tap on the next button, tap right here, set low power mode. Again, if you don't see these right here, search them by tapping on new blank automation. So set low power mode, just switch it to off right there and you're good to go. When your device reaches that level of battery, it turns off automatically. And last but not least is one of my favorite automations that you can create on your iPhone. I even did a dedicated video on this. So it allows to lock any app you want with your face ID or a passcode and it's pretty simple. So you simply go here to app, choose any app you want, always choose run immediately. Choose the app here. Let's say I want to choose again calculator here. Tap on the dumb button. Tap next. Search. Go ahead and search by tapping here new blank automation and search for lock screen. So there we have lock screen. You just simply choose that. Tap on the dumb button. Now you're good to go. Anytime someone wants to open this app on my device, you can see what it does. 
it automatically locks my device. So now you will need face ID or a passcode to actually unlock the device. So that is it for this video, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please make sure to leave a like and of course, subscribe for more videos like this. And I will see you on the next one.